were the highlights of the game. First quarter pa lang, barangkada na ang TNT Katropa. Well, exactly, no? and here's TNT getting off to a very good start. See, Amans had seven points in that quarter. By the way, yan yung all the points that Amans scored in this game. Hindi na siya naka-score after those seven points in the first quarter. But good balanced offense on the part of TNT. Eight players, make that nine players, scored for TNT in the first period. While Global Port, ilan lamang, no? Lilima lang. And I thought that was it. You sabi mo kanina about the bench points. Too many bench points on the part of TNT. And too few bench points on the part of Global Port. Sabi mo ito, tagal, bago uminit ni Stanley Pringle, no? Yeah. We were counting how many shots he had missed before he finally broke through. Yung 70 points scored by TNT in the first half. I mean, that showed that the defense of Global Port was far from what Coach Franz Pomaran wanted it to be. Romeo hitting its stride with 10 points in the second quarter. But si Jason Castro had 16 in that same quarter. Matala nung third quarter, although lamang pa rin ang PNC Katropa, gumapang unti ang KP, nabawasan na nila yung 20 puntos na dito. Tumigit naman ang Global Force. Well, doon nakita natin si Michael Glover na trabaho din, no? At saka si Stanley Pringle, who did not score in the first uh, quarter. Nakita natin yung mga virtuoso play ni Stanley Pringle, making this a very interesting down-to-the-wire finish. Pakbakan sa huli, no? yung mga stars, the marquee players, taking over, they took big shots. Yeah, nobody hesitated. Ito, nakita natin si Pringle, a big steal oh, oh. to tie Malaki the game, yun. 120 all. At saka hinayaan niya muna bumawas ng maayos, kinontrol niya, hirap ng tira na yun. Grabe yun. Nakahanap siya ng buwang. And here was that big play. The biggest play. That was a tight ball game. And yung dribble drive and pass back rally kay Jason Castro. Pringle tried to do the same thing, yung kanyang penetration. Yung play was for Jay Washington to take the shot in the corner. Hindi niya nasalo yung bola. Masyadong malakas yung pagpasa ni Stanley Pringle. Alam mo itong game na ito, hindi yata kompleto kung hindi natin i-unfurl yung highlights ni Romeo at saka ni Castro. Napakarami, parang kulang ang oras para ipakita kung gano'n ka-tunti yung dalawang player na ito. Well, ito yung anticipated natin. And there was gonna be one heck of a shootout between these two super talented point guards. 33 for Terrence, 37 for Jason Castro. The duel of the century. <laughs> it won't be the last, and we'll see more of that in the near future. And this was the big winning play, the pass to Robin Dario Campo. It's a two-point yeah. officially. But he was pa yon to get Romeo, except that, you know, when you're a smaller defender, Nantun si Rani Deldo Campo is much taller. Three-point shooting, lamang na lamang ang TNT. Field goal percentage, tabla. Sa rebounding, yun lumamang ang Global Port. In the first half, lamang ang TNT in that uh, department. Sa assist, mas marami ang TNT. Let's take a look at the leading producers for this game. Tingnan mo naman, oh. Uh, yung dalawa, leading, but ang daming supporta na galing from both ends. Hindi lang yung big three, ha. Uh, pero kulang yata yun sa Global Port. Ano exactly. Man? For Global Port, the big three was there. Pero kulang sa supporta, no? And in fact, they only had 16 bench points. And TNT, balanced scoring, they had 45 bench points. Malaking bagay yun. Okay. That's a major disparity.